It is early o'clock. And uh, last night, which some of you will have already seen, there was a big fire in a nightclub on Walking Street. Now, three reasons I want now. One, I go to bed about 8.30, 9 o'clock. Two, there's a curfew at 9 o'clock, so obviously I couldn't, had I have even known about it. And three, I've totally forgotten what that reason was, but it was another one. Anyway, we're gonna pop along to Walking Street and have a look now. I'd have been better off cutting down soy. Um, soy Diana and on to Beach Road, actually. A lot of traffic here this early. Yeah, we've got the uh, new condo just for right of me. You can't see it. I, I shall whip in. Lucas, Lucas Rides for Kicks covered it. It's called The Edge. So I, he did a very good video on it. Yeah. It's right next to in front of a base. Okay. Now, I wonder if it's completely closed off. It doesn't look it. No, it looks like I can get through. I think it was put out uh, in the um, before midnight. Well, unless I there's some visible sign about it. A bit invisible. I'm driving on the left. No, no sign of it yet. Ah, this could be something to do with it. Oh! Poor, I see smell that. We'll give it a bit more exposure, I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Warning me that there could be some loose. Right, here it is. I'm just wondering if they'd let me inside. The fire brigade and police it would have gone. It's just there was just a security guy there just now. I mean, anywhere else in the world, this road would be closed now because of the risk of debris falling. But I'm actually glad it is open. Now, it's all fenced off, so I'm not going to be able to go in. And there's still smoke coming up the top. Yeah, it's plenty of um, plenty of smoke still coming out. And I'm just wondering. Where I can fly the drone. I think I could take off as long as I can get enough satellites. That's a Nasher. There you go. It said it was a an Indian nightclub. Well, not going to be missed at the moment because there's no Indians here. And nothing was open anyway. Right, it's a shame though. Just watching above me because I'm under the the debris. I was going to ask if I look inside, but I don't know if I want to, to tell you the truth. I mean, it would want to go up there. <clears throat> Got a baby coming next month, so sure she wants her dad to still be in the land of the living.
go over here, eh? This is soy 16. There's a nice little market here. You can get some nice shrimps. I wonder if Nim needs shrimps. The trouble is, I've been going to put it in all my camera stuff. Let's have a look. Any... There's some. Let me just turn this bike around and we'll get some. Hello. 30 cap. Can I buy the song kilo? Song kilo, yeah. So 240 baht a kilo, that's um, like about that a fiver. Just a little bit over, 550 maybe. And we're talking pounds, not dollars. They're wondering who I'm talking to. <laughs> Nim will be happy. Sorry, right, I took, I took camera. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Nick Noi. Nick Noi Ting Tong. <laughs> he says Nick Noi with a channel name as mine. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Meow cap now. Now I have a camera, camera inside. <laughs> I not want water. I go home now. Oh, sorry. I thought, no, I thought it was a hard Roy. There's a hard ride, take the wrong one. Yeah, I think you must take it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely cotton cap. There you go. A bit of zinc for the baby's brain. They've got a lot of zinc in shellfish and zinc is good for the brain development. And yes, you're right, I don't eat a lot of shellfish. Right, coming up, took on on the right, we'll slip into Cyber Cow. I'm gagging at first. I watch this back and I see I'm morphling on so much and I end up speed ramping it all to make a hyperlapse just to shut me up. Right, now let's have a look at this because this is um this is all changed. Uh, Cyber Cow Market, which was across the road here, right along there, has now moved over here. But it's not open today. It's Tuesdays and Fridays. But this is the site where it is. which used to be the car park. Now I assume the car park is where, where it was. I'll tell you something though, it's not as big in here. But then of course I suppose there's, with the situation, there's a lot less traders here on market day anyway. There's a few stout stalls up. I'm gonna buy a t-shirt or something. But I just wonder if they're gonna build on here or just doing re... Perhaps they're gonna make permanent market stalls there's always been tents and pegs that have been put up every you know twice a week the more permanent thing would mean it could open every day